Hey, what's up Spartans? Welcome back to another Halo video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my predictions for Halo Infinite and what Team Fortress 3 will show us in E2 2021. I did make a video a while back where I was giving you guys my predictions on what will be shown in Halo Infinite at E2 2020. And most of what I said, I was right in some parts. So hence why I want to make another video predictions for this upcoming event. Uh, E2 2021 is literally around the corner guys, not long left. It's really crazy, it's been one year since we last saw proper gameplay footage from P43 which was in E2 2020 in June. Uh, time flies, you know, it's just crazy, I don't know where the time goes. Um, Alright, anyways, the predictions I always say guys doesn't mean it's confirmed, it doesn't mean I'm right. I could terribly be wrong throughout this whole video, so please do keep that in mind. This video may not age very well, you know, we all could look back at this, uh, you know, you know, after the E3 event and just laugh at it. Alright, here we go. So here are my predictions. This is what will probably happen at E3. So we all know this man over here, right? Joseph Staten, who played a massive part with the original Halo games. He's going to walk on the stage and talk about how anticipated Halo Infinite is going to be and how much work he has done at 343 and how 343 is going to make this the most ambitious Halo game, blah, blah, blah. He's going he's gonna to basically, you know, hype up the audience, you know? And then once he's done that, done with that, after, after him bragging about Halo Infinite, he would then show off uh, uh, him playing Halo Infinite, running on the new uh, Xbox One X. They will first reveal Halo Infinite's uh, uh, campaign demo, and possibly 350 may show the same mission that was shown last year at E3, but in a much recent build, where, where you will see Halo Infinite in a much better state, how it should have been at the start. And I really hope they do go down this path. And you guys might ask me, oh, why the hell do you want to see the same mission again and not a different one? Well, me personally, I don't want P43 to review too much for the campaign because I'd rather play the missions myself. I want to discover the unknown, you know, so let P43 keep everything secretive. And hey, it's obviously fine if they, you know, show off a new mission in the campaign, no big deal. It's not, it's not end of the world. But, you know, I'll be happy either way. Uh, it's just that I'd rather, you know, much prefer them showing the same mission in a recent build. Uh, however, if they do end up showing a new mission for Halo Infinite, the mission they probably show off may take place in the Forerunner interior. So this image we saw here, you know, recently, we may get gameplay footage from this mission, uh, which, are, uh, you know, could be very awesome to see. Uh, and possibly we may see the new characters of the, you know, of the Brutes in action, like Hyperius uh, or, or Tavares uh, that we just saw recently. And these guys are very loyal to Estrim. They have to spawn together. You know, these guys look so badass, you know. Like, I honestly can't wait for them, you know, can't wait to see them in the game. Uh, they may appear at the end of the mission like how Estrem did in the first campaign demo where he was giving the speech. Uh, we could like to see these new characters at E3. And uh, we may also get our first look at the Razorback. Uh, it's basically a Warthog variant uh, which looks absolutely epic. Uh, and maybe we, we will see the Master Chief driving the Razorback on set to Halo with the Marines on it and trying to finish an objective. Maybe the objective could be, you know, seeing the Marines break into the... Uh, uh, the banished uh, brute prison, whatever, and get and you know save all the marines, uh, something like that. Anyways, so once T43 officially finished uh, showing off the campaign in Halo Infinite, fans will be very pleased on how the gameplay turned out and how everything looks uh, visually. Uh, next up, T43 will demonstrate multiplayer for Halo Infinite. Now this is a, you know, what the, all the fans have been waiting for for a very long time. Uh, so for multiplayer, we're going to see Sketch. You know, we'll be making his way on stage and. Uh, you know, bragging about, oh yeah, Hilton is going to be free, you know, free to play, is going to be for everyone. And Joseph saying could be, you know, still could still be on the stage, you know, and they both will be maybe playing the multiplayer together. You know, they'll basically demonstrate a new multiplayer map that could be from Halo C or Halo 3's multiplayer map, uh, you know, all-time favorites. And it's uh, going to be them playing a quick slayer match, you know, doing a 4v4 for like around five or six minutes. And then uh, after they finish off showing this multiplayer, they may talk about Halo Infinite's Forge system. So they announced that there will be more upcoming news about Halo Infinite's Forge. And we may see a small peek, you know, sneak peek on how the new Forge system plays like in Halo Infinite. At the end of the presentation, uh, we are going to see, we are going to get the release date for Halo Infinite. Uh, which typically will confirm that Halo Infinite will launch around November the 15th, 2021. Which will mark the, uh, the 20th anniversary for Halo CE. And then the beta will also be revealed too, which will, which we may get the beta like around August, you know, before Infinite launches. And there you have it, guys. That's all my predictions that I came up with. I could terribly be be wrong, you know, with all these predictions I made. Do you, do you keep that in mind? Let's wait and see what happens at E3. Uh, we don't have long left. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any predictions that you would love to share with me. I'd love to know down in the comments below. Uh, I'm really excited for E3, um, but also very cautious. I uh, hope you guys are excited as much as I am. 
Uh, okay guys, I'm going to end, end the video here now and be sure to like, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitch. I literally, you know, we literally stream Halo uh, MCC on there every day. So go ahead and drop a follow on there and I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.